We are ready and excited for summer here in Great Falls. Coming up on this episode of We're No Damn Experts, we're telling you a bunch of events you can plan your trip to Great Falls around this coming June, July, and August. Best damn podcast, the best damn town. You want to get up, get ready to get down. Welcome to the greatest damn town in Montana, Great Falls. I'm Rebecca Ingham. I'm Shannon Newth. And, and we're, we're no, no damn, damn experts. experts. I'm definitely feeling like it's bit like I feel like I got to like shake off the dust again, because even though you hear our podcast every week, listeners, it's been a while since we've actually recorded one. And it's been a long time since it's just been Shannon and I. That's true. Like, I mean, maybe like a year like, ago. Like, oh, where's our... What are we going to do What now? are we do <laughs> to talk to each other and not people? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you mm. it's the official kickoff to summer today. Yeah. Because I'm finally getting a pedicure done. I just got my... <laughs> I just got one done last week. Yes. It <laughs> summer foot season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, for the last three weeks, I've been wanting to wear open-toed shoes yep. mm-hmm. and I am just so stubborn that I'm not going to do that unless my toes are done I was struggling with that as well and I could have done it on my own but I was like no I yeah. want the first one to like you know really clean <laughs> clean it up <laughs> get them ready to go it felt good to finally get it done here's the thing I could do it on my own as well <laughs> but I've achieved a level of success in my life granted it's not very big but you're at the point where but you're like a level of success mm-hmm. where I yeah. can I can pay for that service, yeah. that little luxury, that little bit yeah. of pampering. Well, and it forces you to sit, just sit and relax and just yes. be in the moment, which is hard to do sometimes. So yeah. last night we get home from camping uh-huh. and my husband says to me, <laughs> I bring out the calendar and I said, we need to get through. June, July, and August. Like, yeah. we got stuff on the calendar already, but I need to fill in the holes mm-hmm. uh, based on what you want to get done. And he looks at me and he goes, I want to go to bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that so... seems like a really right now focused conversation <laughs> right. where I'm kind of looking at the next three yeah. months. You want me to write that in every open day there? <laughs> like, you just go to bed. Bed. <laughs> Well, he was a little. He, yeah. he was a little exhausted from yeah. it's like not camping, now. <laughs> from yeah. doing nothing for th- relaxing three, four days. So, um, mm. he, we're not having that conversation yet. But mm. you and I are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, going to bed also <laughs> sounds nice, but yeah, <laughs> you should do it at mm-hmm. some point, but not for too long. Right, and not. I, ideally, I'm not scheduling it in. It's a normal <laughs> part of my day to day life. Ideally, I also don't have children, so. That's more of a guaranteed thing that I can go to bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I was visiting with a friend this weekend and I said, oh, because we're up like at 11 o'clock at night and that's so late. (laughs) She's like, she looks at me and she says, what time do you normally go to bed? I said, well, usually around nine, (laughs) nine thirty. Well, she just, she looks at me and she goes, how do you get anything done in the day? Well, I don't have... Three children mm-hmm. and four businesses and two jobs right. that I'm trying to do in a 24-hour period. Mm-hmm. That makes Maybe a difference. I'm just an underachiever. <laughs> I will own no. that. But my life works for me mm-hmm. with that 9.30 until, mm-hmm. you know, 4.30 in the morning schedule. Right. So. For sleeping. Yes. Yes. You do get up it. early, though. I do. Yeah. So you have that. You 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 willingly get up early. It's not a child waking you up early. No. Yeah. <laughs> And probably not Robert, I'm guessing, either. Well, he's usually the first awake. Oh, okay. And then um, no dog either yeah. to say, hey. To say, hey, it's it's that time. I need to be mm-hmm. not in your room. <laughs> <laughs> if you want this to go well, not here. Yeah. So, Shannon, well, uh, you look like you've done a lot of work to tell people typing. Mm-hmm. Um, what's happening in Great Falls this summer, yeah. which is always, it's like, I'm not going to claim it's just a Great Falls thing. I'm going to claim it as a Montana thing. Mm-hmm. The weather starts to get nice, and we cram every event possible into this (laughs) three-month window (laughs) Uh 
where it might rain, that's fine. There might be a chance of snow, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, we're 95% good weather. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be outside. And there are events upon events upon events yeah. that are happening that you can plan your trip around mm-hmm. and then fill in with all the things that happen year round. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, and if you thought we had live music before, oh, oh my gosh, this summer, oh, holy cow. Like just about any time you're going to be here, you can find some live music of some kind. And that to me just says how artistic our community Mm -hmm. is. Yeah, it really does speak to that. I mean, we've had like Dusty Molino on. We spoke about that. We've, I mean, we've had lots of varying artists on. So on the surface, without Mm -hmm. looking at your notes, what's the one, (laughs) one event you're looking forward to this summer? Ooh, without looking at my notes. Well, I think this one is just on my mind because it's happening soon, but Craft Beer Week is fun and I've not really oh. been able to participate before. So I'm kind of enjo- I'm looking forward to going and like capturing content for that because I think it'll be fun. Oh boy. I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm super stoked. Over. Oh yeah. Go but, ahead. Well, this one also, it might not seem big, but the downtown night markets oh. again, because I, my schedule's never allowed me to... T- it's like this whole new life has opened <laughs> it is. up for you. It is. I mean, they sound like those are maybe not like these major events, but the downtown mi- night markets, like those sound fun for me to go and check out. I just like the idea of street vendors mm-hmm. of all yeah. kinds. Like shutting down a street, wandering around. Yeah. Even if they're just on the sidewalk and mm-hmm. you're in a little cart selling home, Whatever. homemade jewelry. Yeah. Like that to me, oh, I just love it. Yeah. I mean, I love our small businesses too, but right. kind of that ability to bounce between them is mm-hmm. just really fun. Absolutely. Uh, well, and you're in luck then because the farmer's market huh? starts this Saturday. Yes. <laughs> and that runs all summer long. So you can always be guaranteed on a Saturday to go see the farmer's market. Mm-hmm. And that's not just fruit and uh, bread and chickens. Um, there's a lot <laughs> I'm of not things. sure there's that, any chickens, actually. There's chickens there. Well, not live okay, chickens. Okay, I was like on a stick. No, well, there's skewer. that. There's also frozen <laughs> Frozen where you can take them home, thaw oh. them, and cook them. I've never gotten chicken at the farmer's oh, you, market. You haven't? No. You've not lived. Apparently not. Now, well, I'm I'm actually really excited about that. Yeah, we get huh. we get chickens at the farmer's market, mm-hmm. and then we uh, smoke them. Oh. And I probably shouldn't say this out loud, but <laughs> I'm going to because, okay. you know, we're all friends here. <laughs> I have to do two at a time because Robert will eat an entire... <laughs> Smoked chicken? Smoked ah. chicken. Well, it's just that good. It is that. It's mm. so moist and juicy. And that, mm, well, that can be hard to Well, it's high quality like chicken that. to start yeah. with. Well, yeah, and that's the that's the thing, too, that I'm excited about. Oh, mm-hmm. so good. Well, get yourself I'm really glad you told me about that. I don't know how I have never, like, seen that before. Well, because they don't put them out on the table. You well, yeah. <laughs> you I, that, I mean, that's. I'm glad they don't. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm sure there's some health and, code And you need to pre-plan there. that, like, bring an ice chest with you. Right. Also. Yeah. Or get it as your last thing and then go straight and home. Just go straight home. Yeah. yeah. So you have to pre-plan that a little bit more. But chickens are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the farmer's market. We've had the yeah. farmer's market on here. So that's a, I don't remember the episode off the top of my head. You did Bef- all this planning before. And you didn't come <laughs> I up didn't with put that. episode specific. I know it's pre-episode 100 okay. because it was last summer. Uh, but yeah, we chatted all about the farmer's market. Ours is one of the, if not the largest in the state, right? Um, I don't yep, remember. Yep. You've taught me we just claim it and go with it. So, yep. <laughs> Look at it how was at one point assertive at least. she is about that. We're we're going with the it. The point is it's a very good farmer's market with a lot of vendors. Uh, if you go back, because this is coming out Friday, if you go back earlier this week, the inventory I shot um, for Tuesday that came out on our Facebook on Tuesday, you'll see like that's in Whittier Park. You could see that in the background. Oh, yeah. And I went there and I haven't really like looked at that park, you know what I mean? When I've driven by it and I was like, it is so lush. Like the grass is so green. The trees are all blooming and the leaves are it's out. It's like the perfect time to be outdoors because mm-hmm. if the rain shuts off, this is the thing we know about <laughs> yeah, if. Mm-hmm. the world. If the rain shuts off, it starts to dry up and get brown. But right now, oh. the, it's vibrant mm-hmm. and it's popping and the bushes are just coming beautiful. alive and the flowers are poking out. Mm-hmm. And it is just Smells wonderful. Mm-hmm. If you have allergies, you're well, miserable. Yeah. 
<laughs> These are the, the rest thing. of us are enjoying it. <laughs> we don't mind. <laughs> my front yard, because of my spouse, looks like a golf course. Oh, and that's what that's I just what love about this time. Like. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's also as we were sitting outside, we Jason's uh, aunts were here visiting this last weekend. We got out our patio furniture. We sat outside. We're fortunate to have a, a large space where we can sit and enjoy and have a little fireplace and all of that. He mowed the yard. We got we planted some new trees. Ooh. And we're just sitting there. It's like okay, it's perfect. The bugs aren't out and attacking us. Right. It wasn't windy like it was just perfect that's awesome so and one of his aunts and I were discussing like we this you just you have to enjoy the sitting out time like don't do anything inside during this time save that for later yeah Mm -hmm. yeah we have a front deck Mm -hmm. Robert is going to be building us a back deck Ooh. because depending on the sun Mm -hmm. (laughs) one deck is the other Uh (laughs) one deck is nicer than the other yeah um Mm -hmm. Our backyard tends to, and I I love our yard, but it bakes back there mm. when it gets real hot out. So it's, it's again, now's the time to sit yeah. and enjoy it. Need yeah. the front deck, mm-hmm. too. Yep, we do. So I'm pretty excited mm-hmm. for, we have the Lewis and Clark Festival yes. every year. Mm-hmm. But we don't have the 25th oh, I should have said that year. one, too. Well, yeah, I mean, it's saying. not... There's so it's not many like things. you've done any content about no. it. <laughs> not at all. No. <laughs> Haven't been there at all. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Not for the usual stuff, but the guided hikes. Oh, like having yeah. a expert, someone much more knowledgeable than mm-hmm. myself, lead the White Sulphur, White Sulphur, the Sulphur Springs <laughs> hike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be one of the coolest things that will happen this yeah. summer. And that's one you can go on anytime and it's a great hike anytime. But that one will be especially neat because you get it's such a there's so much history steeped in that little, you know, three mile and you get hike. commentary. Right. To have somebody talk Not about from that. me, right. but like from <laughs> no, someone you, who knows yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's signs along the way, but just to have that person talking and explaining the whole time as you're walking it. Well, and yeah. the things you can't get from the signs, mm-hmm. the things yep. they know that they've never shared, right. like the oddities, the mm-hmm. unique things. The... Right. And sometimes it's nice to just have somebody tell you and not stand and read the sign. Yeah. Yeah. Because reading's be tough sometimes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm with you folks. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Uh, those, yeah, those will be neat for sure. Uh, with the Lewis and Clark Festival. And we've talked about this too. You can go back. We have a number of episodes recently dedicated to Lewis and Clark things. Well, and the other thing that I like about mm-hmm. summer is uh, Wild Montana does the wilderness mm-hmm. hikes. They and do. You have to pre-register for those. Yeah. But I just like the opportunity to be led on a hike. Yeah. I can mm-hmm. read a map. I but... can do it on my own. Yeah. But when, when someone else is just going to... I just have to follow them and right. enjoy the scenery. You don't easier. have to plan. Right. It, there's And there's just an extra sense of security, sort of, of, yeah. you know, someone else is here. They can help with first aid or bears. <laughs> but mostly just to have somebody else guiding. You don't have to think as yeah. much about it. Well, yeah. and you got people meet new friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I took my knitting class from yes. the Farmer's Daughter Fiber. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know anyone there, mm-hmm. which was awesome because then I met new people yeah. who were all my age or younger mm-hmm. learning to knit. <laughs> and my husband nice. disowned me because he <laughs> he doesn't feel that at my age I should knit. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to be good at it when I'm 90, because well, that's when he thinks you're supposed oh, to knit. Does he know the owners are not 90 either? Well, I didn't explain that to him. Okay. And I also didn't explain how awful I am <laughs> at it, like how much... <laughs> time and attention it mm. takes to knit well you have some years ahead of you to yeah. perfect it before you practice 90. quite a bit but <laughs> <laughs> it was fun I learned yeah. a new skill mm-hmm. and you um, met some new people yeah mm-hmm. so the opportunity to just kind of meet new people yeah which if you're a visitor here happens all the time right but if you're a resident sometimes like in certain circles you, you don't get to meet new people no you see a lot of the same people right. so I got to meet new people, yeah. and I was pretty excited that is about fun. it. It's like a vacation in your hometown. Those are the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of opportunities to get out and hike, so 
this Saturday, so tomorrow from when this podcast comes out. So if you're listening to this, you have to do something about it today. It's Summer Trails Day. It's put on by Get Fit Great Falls. They do Mm -hmm. Summer Trails Day and Winter Trails Day every year. It's in celebration of National Trails Day. So Saturday, June 3rd. Summer Trails Day this year, it's all free. And you have these guided hikes again. Oh, more. So it's there's actually eight, I think there's eight different hike options. On that one day. On that one day. So I don't think, you couldn't probably go do all eight of them because they're all happening at the same time. And there's a few that are- Wait, you probably <laughs> couldn't? I mean- We're just going I to don't. assume you can't. I don't know, you know, maybe if you have some superhuman time traveling situation <laughs> happening. Um, in which case- we want to talk to you on the podcast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Call. We'll get you on. Um, yeah, but Summer Trails Day. So I believe it's eight different hikes. Some are kid focused. Oh, yeah. Some are in town, just starting in Gibson Park. Others go to like the Windy Mountain Loop and the High Woods. There's one along the Rocky Mountain Front. Uh, Tower Rock State Park. There's another Sulphur Springs one available. I just saw somebody post pictures of a Clary Cooley hike. That's not one I had heard of before. Oh, I've, I've heard of it. Okay. Never done it. Yeah. Saw the pictures. Was it gorgeous? Want to do it. Mm. Yeah. Well, what are you doing Saturday? Um, I'm really unsure. <laughs> okay. Well, but that could be one of this them. Then. Yeah. So that one's on the Rocky Mountain front. So basically there's, among these hikes, there's kind of something for everyone in terms of how far you want to drive in the morning. I mean, none of these are very far, you know, right. it's within an hour and a half, but, or if you want to stay in town, if you have kids, whatever. The thing with this one though, it's free. You could show up, but you do have to pre-register by today, June 2nd. So this comes out, hopefully you're listening uh, to it in the morning, yeah. go on and register today and then you can show up tomorrow for it. Yeah. I um, heard maybe a friend of mine's going to be here on Saturday, Okay, but I'm not sure like if she's going to do stuff with me. Oh. We sometimes are a bed and breakfast. Mm. So <laughs> that's Robert's style. <laughs> bed. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So there's that this Saturday. Also, this Saturday, if you're listening to this Friday, you want to come to Great Falls, you can go hike in the morning. And then in the evening, you go to the Dusty Legal Bull Riding Challenge. I've never been. Have you? I no. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't think so. I mean, I've seen bull riding. Yeah. But I've never seen just bull riding. Yeah, this is just bull riding. And when we say bull riding challenge, that doesn't mean it's a challenge for you, right, listeners. Like, not amateur. <laughs> you day, don't get like, to go try I'm going to try to ride a bull. <laughs> and the best one yes. wins. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. This, these, are, these are professional, world-class athletes. This is their job. <laughs> bull riders. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> don't. So Have just, you ever had the desire to ride a bull? Mm, no. No. Do you? <laughs> I thought about it when I was younger. Yeah. Like you make a list of things you want to try in your life. Yeah. I put it on there. Yeah. And then as I've aged and it hasn't happened. You're mm, okay with that? I'm okay with that. Have you done any in like a bar before? No. Oh, I've done that. Oh. I think there's I still a, bo- a bowl at the Flamingo. Flamingo. Hmm. I think that's where, it, is that is that where, where I've done it. it and I've watched it. Sense. I don't remember. But yeah, I think the Flamingo still has one here in town. Okay. We digress. We digress. But the bull riding <laughs> challenge. Yes. Yeah, so you can, it's the 18th annual and Flint Rasmussen, while he's retiring. He's on his listed. retirement tour. He is on his <laughs> retirement tour because it's, he's listed right on there on the website featuring he's Flint Rasmussen. There. So as if this event wasn't enough, Flint Rasmussen, just it, it, incredible rodeo clown and entertainer. So come see him while you have the chance. And Flint, if you're listening, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we haven't asked you before. Check with your brother. Starting yeah. <laughs> start to take it personal. Uh, um. Anyway, so <laughs> Dusty could go for a while. While we're, while we're talking about rodeo stuff, maybe we should mention some of the other rodeo options this summer. Uh, I know about the Big Sky Pro Rodeo Roundup. Yes. Which I didn't even put that fair. on my list. I put the fair on my list, but I oh, didn't yeah. put that, so we'll clump it. And then I know about the... Belt mm-hmm. rodeo, which happens Father's Day weekend. Yes, good July. Job. Let's nope. June <laughs> mm-hmm. 16, 17, I'm gonna go with seventeen, eighteen. Okay, June. You were real 17, close. Seventeen, <laughs> eighteen. And that's more of a community style event. It's a like good one. Pancake dinners mm-hmm. and 
Yeah, if you really want that, like, probably. If you really want that, they have in the past, I think. Yeah. I'm not as confident of that. Okay. But But they have community events surrounding that. And it's a fun one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Augusta happens. Yep. In August, maybe. That's, I didn't put that one okay. on there either. Mm-hmm. And it is, <laughs> it's the American Legion Rodeo okay. uh, in Augusta. It's the lo- largest, one oldest one-day rodeo oh. in Montana. Hmm. Maybe the world. Sure. And they do a street dance the night before. Okay. That's a fun um, one. Because their rodeo is on a Sunday. Uh, these are the oh. facts I know. You know the Augusta one well. I don't know why. Hmm. And then we have the one in Cascade. Yep. That's the other one I have on my list. Folks, for you that aren't uh, familiar, uh, Great Falls really is, you're going to love this one, a base camp Mm -hmm. (laughs) that you can use to head out to all these smaller towns. And Belt's about 20 minutes away. Augusta's about a half hour away. Cascade's about a half hour Mm -hmm. away. So you've got these opportunities to kind of get some rodeo action. Mm -hmm. This one, the Cascade one, is August 11th and 12th, by the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, maybe. <laughs> is it? <laughs> maybe uh, maybe the Augusta one is like l- around the Labor Day. No, nope. oh. that doesn't sound right either. Mm. Don't listen to it, me. <laughs> we'll get that one added to our <laughs> events page, too, and you can check for sure. Yeah. Listeners. And always, yep. events page on visit greatfallsmontana.org is going to have all the... All the stuff. All the deeds about. on yeah. what we're talking about mm-hmm. and the big stuff. It's not going to have bingo. It's not going to have every every single thing. We just But we've got that. some itinerary fillers. If you mm-hmm. need them, just let us know. Ask us. Yeah, we can help you out with that. So, yes, our events page isn't anything and everything. Also, people will... I think assume right that there's a rodeo happening all the time when they're in Montana. That's true. Like mm-hmm. every night, and mm-hmm. I hate to even tell you this, but if you want a rodeo every night of the week, I think Cody Cody Wyoming still does oh. night rodeos. Wow! Every okay. night during the summer. That's so many. I could be talking out of turn because <laughs> it's been a long time since I've known yeah. these things, but uh, rodeos are kind of a limited time opportunity. Mm-hmm. They're a uh, an event that happens yeah. you might be able to drive down the road and look over on a ranch and see somebody trying to rope a cow right anytime but the actual there's rodeo no, it's not a no continual thing there. right um so we mentioned the state fair we're kind of jumping all over in terms of dates and things here but the state fair big sky pro rodeo roundup is during that time there's multiple nights multiple themed nights of that event yep yeah. Followed by concerts. Followed by concerts, yes. So the lineup this year for the concert and performers, we have Chris Jansen, Toby... What? Really? Yeah. Huh. That's what I have up on our events page. (laughs) (laughs) Did... Do you not believe me? I believe you. <laughs> okay. I was like, I, I can just, look it up. I think I remember Chris Jansen being here before. Oh, has he also been here before? For we, have a, we have a few coming back. Fourth of July. Who nanny maybe? Oh, okay. Yeah. So fairly Shannon, recently. Just tell me to okay. shut up. Go on. <laughs> well, you had me. I was like, I don't think I just made that up. I, <laughs> maybe you I know. Did. I know we make a lot of things up, but not that. Uh, okay. Chris Jansen, Toby Mack, Josh Turner. Oh, who, I do love Josh Turner. That voice, the deep voice. How can oh you my not gosh. just get... swoon over that? I know. Mm. He, uh, he's. This will be a second time, I think, back in Great Falls. Yep, he was at Centene Stadium he was. one time. I got to interview him <gasps> uh, when I worked in TV when he was at Centene Stadium, and this was before he was a bigger name. Right, like he was known, but not, not this bigger name. He was. I remember him being very kind, very nice. Got my picture with him. Nice guy. So along with the voice. Super nice, nice guy. guy. Yeah. So he's coming back, as is Fluffy, Gabriel yeah. Iglesias. Mm-hmm. He's been here before. He has. Did you see him when he was here before? I did not. Okay. Which is odd, because I I love comedians. Yeah. Like, that's my jam. I like him, too. I've never went and saw him. Okay. Well. Maybe this is the this year. This is the year to do it. Yeah. I'm hoping, also, spoiler alert, behind, <laughs> pull back the curtain. I don't know. I'm trying to get to talk to these people who are coming back to do interviews with them who have been to Great Falls before. So listeners, cross your fingers with me and hope for that and then watch for those interviews on our YouTube page. (laughs) Do you think they'll come on our podcast? (laughs) You know what? We could try. (laughs) 
That would be not amazing. That I don't think our podcast is amazing, but we still but have not overtaken Joe Rogan no, or Dak Shepard. So like, and a Fluffy on here, mm, we would break the world. Yeah. So I'll work on that while we're while I'm working on just being able to interview them. I'll work on getting them in our <laughs> thank you in our studio. Yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> the Commodores are coming. Oh yes. And then A Wall Nation is also coming. They wrap up the fair. I like a wall nation. Mm-hmm. My mom the likes the sale. Commodores. Yeah. yeah. I like both. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, the, it's the thing is the state fair has found the formula to kind of get something for everyone. Not all at the same yes. time, mm-hmm. but they do bring in that eclectic mix of different types mm-hmm. of artists. Yeah. That appeal to groups. Different groups. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. Fluffy is a family friendly comedian. He mm-hmm. doesn't cuss, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Hopefully we're not turning you down the wrong path here for a show. <laughs> no, I think he has more. Yeah. As comedians go. Yeah. Not like the what is it, the R rated comedy show that's oh, coming to Great Falls this R-rated summer? R rated magic show. Okay. R rated oh I'm R-rated pretty magic excited show. about that. <laughs> I can't imagine I what's going to happen, but yeah. I'm going. It's R-rated, though. <laughs> I know. I thought so, it was a comedian. No. Magic show. Something well, different. Okay. I think it's a magic show. Yeah. No, I think you're right. The Great Falls Community Concert Coalition, I'm going to call them. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not their correct <laughs> name. But they do a lot of work to bring in a variety of entertainment. Mm-hmm. And they've been busy. They got some options through the summer. But then they also have their 2023 20, 24 schedule already done. Wow. I know. Nice. There are Johnny's on the spot <laughs> for 2024. <laughs> yeah. That's neat. Yeah. So those were the, that's the lineup for the performers at the fair. We talked about the rodeo at the fair. Of course, there's all the normal things you can find at a fair. And are you going to talk? Horse racing? Yes, mm-hmm. that's exactly yes. what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. So horse racing, the final ones happen during the fair, but they start earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two weekends before the fair, mm-hmm. you're getting your access to horse racing. And I'll spill the I'll spill the tea, as the kids say <laughs> now. Um, if you stay at our lodging properties, mm-hmm. you'll get free tickets. Yeah. To horse racing. Mm-hmm. So. So think pick, of that. Yes. Uh, they are, it's happening. Oh, where's my cheat sheet? It's the 15th, 16th of July, 22nd, 23rd of July and 29th and 30th of July. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. I think you did very good. <laughs> um, oh, there it is. Yep. Got them all. Now, if you've never been to horse racing, mm-hmm. like us last year had yep. never been to horse racing, you really are missing out. Yeah. I'd been before. It had been a long time. This was my first time, I think betting on a horse race and we did so good <laughs> we did too. well kelly jean didn't do so good, but <laughs> i did and you did yeah, really good had a trifecta see mm-hmm. and here's the thing you're not going to understand a lot of what's going on <laughs> no. there's no if it's your first time right if you're a seasoned horse race better spectator yeah you're gonna know a little bit more than all the lingo. I the poor it's, lady who was trying to help me with the tickets. I was like, "What am I doing here?" Yeah. Like, how do I? It's like trying to order a fancy coffee drink when you go up and you're like, "I want the number something on this on this trip." Triple like, no yeah. sugar. <laughs> add whip. It is. I was like, okay, I have to make sure I say it in the right order at the half right half. Like, <laughs> you know? like, thankfully she was kind, but I was. Just, like I don't know what I'm doing. If you pick up the program, mm-hmm. it'll have some information in there on how to bet. It's still a lot. Now, here's the other thing. Visit with the folks sitting next to you. Because you are going Mm -hmm. to learn so much more. Like, here's things I learned. Okay. Always bet on the gray pony. If there is a gray pony. an old wives tale kind of thing? It worked for me. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. And it was just some insight of, like, people who go to the track often know if there's a gray horse in the running... You bet on it. No matter what the, is it like a temperature Does thing? Does not Do matter. <laughs> Does not okay. matter who they're running Don't think against. think about it so much. If they're okay. gray, you bet on them. Okay. Huh. Any way you want to. Like you can, to win in the top three, whatever. Yeah. Gray horse. Put them in there. Yep. Okay. So I learned that. That was not my tactic. Well, um, 
wasn't real. It was one of my tactics. Yeah. I had a lot of them. Um, if you know the jockey, bet on them. Oh yeah, you did that. That worked. I did that, and it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we sponsored two races uh-huh. last year, and the kid I know won them both. Hey, won both of our Those races. Sponsored races. That wow. Well, it looks we better rigged. sponsor some more again with people you know. <laughs> yeah, that does kind of look great. And then I bet on him mm-hmm. each time, and he and it worked. Did me. He did me good. <laughs> he now, won granted, one money. of them was a gray horse. So I had the oh, double. What a combo. I know. <laughs> well, and it was the race we sponsored. Right. So so there was a lot of that. That's the trifecta. <laughs> now, here's the other thing. I wasn't betting our mortgage. <laughs> yeah. They were five, five. ten. Yeah. I got Ooh. I got cocky, and I did do a $20 I bet. I think I did once, too. I won. Yeah, I think mine paid off okay, too. It's not like I won a ton of money, but it was very satisfying to hit a trifecta. Well, I think I think when you have money on the line, you cheer harder for your horse. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like you start yeah. screaming a little mm-hmm. louder as they're coming around the bend. Yeah. So it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. And here we're reducing the risk for you. Just come spend the night. You can go. Mm-hmm. Tickets Don't on us. Don't have to pay the ticket price. You can use that there to you bet. Go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you want more details about this limited time offer, feel free to give us a call. 406-761-4436. That's not go. our number, is it? I have a hard enough time six, remembering six, what my work cell number is. It yeah. sounds right. It sounds right. Okay. Best of luck. <laughs> call that number. See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. So horse racing and that, again, aside from all the normal fair things. Right. We'll be having Eating the Montana Viking, State Fair. the Viking, um, the cow pie, elephant ears. Yeah, what it's called. Yeah, the lemonade. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, also happening uh, horse racing weekends. Mm-hmm. The and I'm hoping you're entering, but but we'll see. Oh dear. Oh, I know where we're going with this. <clears throat> Knuckle Buster mm-hmm. Obstacle Challenge. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's I mean, where you've we're completed going. your own Spartan My race. Spartan race. I think the Knuckle Buster is more of a team one, though, isn't it? You can compete by yourself. Mm. Well, I'll no. consider it. I'll, cons- I'll consider it. Now that I've done a Spartan race, I feel a little more, which I shouldn't feel more confident because I did struggle with some obstacles, but <laughs> <laughs> but I've done an obstacle race before and they're usually a really good and encouraging environment i actually i might maybe yeah maybe <laughs> that doesn't sound committal <laughs> at all eh, july 15th we'll figure it out but yes the knuckle buster challenge up at showdown yeah so you got the elevation to start with there <laughs> beautiful scenery mm-hmm. um montana vets program puts that on yeah uh if you haven't we've had the organizer on Listen to that episode. Yeah. It was, Luke was fantastic. Um, it is our only episode we've ever had to mark <laughs> as explicit, but that's because he's a veteran. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> a mar- marine veteran. Yeah, there was good reason, and it it wasn't like it wasn't upset. He's dropping was, all these f bombs. Right. It was it went along with the stories he was telling. Yeah, and there very you know, good episode. It's a fantastic episode. We yeah. laughed, we mm-hmm. cried, we got somber. It was great. It, it, the whole, all the, the emotions, the whole gamut of the emotions. And you hear a, you learn what a pig egg is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which I'm going to spoil it here because we don't remember I'm going to be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, knuckle buster. something sometimes you're involved in that happens all summer long, Electric City Speedway. Are you going to be doing any color commentary we're this year? We're not this year. No. Oh. Uh, we were very involved a couple years ago. Did a few last year. Uh, unless they call us and need to back up. We're not planning to. You got the but whole summer I free. Oh, the, they are a lot of fun, but it is kind of nice of to not have that every Saturday commitment. But if you want to have the every Saturday commitment, <laughs> you can go to the Electric City Speedway. It's one of just a few dirt track races in the state. It's been around a really long time. 750, 75, e- 75 50, years. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 75 long- years, Yes, folks. that's right. Yep. 75 years. Uh, the first few were not in their current location, but they've been in that current location a really long time. Just about every Saturday, they don't race during the fair, so you can go and do fair things. It's every Saturday through Labor Day weekend. They end, I think, with a triple header on Labor Day weekend. Yes, they usually ma'am. have a double header around the 4th of July. Uh, admission, I'm not remembering off the top of my head. It's it's pretty, pretty low. 
seven admission is seven ten dollars something like that they have food there beer gardens there giveaways all of that so i was very i knew like nothing about it until i was part of <laughs> part of it a couple <laughs> years ago and it's a lot of fun yeah yeah i love just the racing environment mm-hmm. yeah, it kind of goes with horse racing yeah you get to pick who you want when mm-hmm. and you got some there's no official betting there no but you can bet you with your bet. neighbors and friends. Yeah. Yeah. You can mm-hmm. pick and they and be yeah. happy and then do trash talking with mm-hmm. the people sitting next to you. Like, oh, and there's that's... some drama among some of the drivers. Let me tell you. <sighs> Bumping so, mm-hmm. and yeah. crunching mm-hmm. and all that fun well, stuff. I'll just say the super stocks are. Eventful. There can be some drama. Yeah. So and they occasionally have the 360 sprints. Um, not every weekend, but those happen sometimes there as well. So yeah, Electric City Speedway. What does that mean? <laughs> Dang it! Is that it's a like particular. Short... It's a particular type of car. I think that's the short car. It's with short the big with the weird on... wings. Yep, yeah, that's what I was mm-hmm. thinking. Yeah. So there's the sprints and there's 360. So there's different classes of them, and they don't always have 360 class. And it's often drivers coming from Canada um, coming down to race them here. So I knew a little about it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I can't describe all of like... it, but that's the difference. Yeah. Another cool thing that's happening this year Mm -hmm. is Sunday Voyager games. Yes. So it's not just on Sundays. They play all all summer long. But the special, this is a new special thing on Sundays this year. So the Voyagers play all year long, Mm -hmm. but just on Sundays, Mm -hmm. new unique feature to the games. Yeah. Mimosas. Yes. It's brunch and baseball because the games start at 1130 on Sundays. So you can have brunch there. Five dollar mimosas. The gates open at 1030, folks. I don't know. So you can <laughs> pregame. Right. Uh-huh. And there's really no other reason to show up an hour early to a baseball game except for brunch and baseball. Mimosas. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited. I think this is a really fun idea. I really like the idea. Mm-hmm. And who knows? I mean, brunch, baseball food. I can't wait to see mm-hmm. what it's going to look like. And when I looked... Um, I obviously I knew about this event before, but I was looking this morning for specifics and really all I found specific about it was that it's five dollar mimosas. It didn't really give you an insight into what type of brunch. Does it matter when no, you No, it have doesn't. Mimosas? I'm excited. No, but I'm excited to try it too because they well, have yeah. some good food. Yeah. And they get creative. Mm-hmm. And here I'm gonna extend an offer. Okay. If you're in town mm. and you want tickets to a Voyager game, yeah. Come talk to us about that. We can hook you up with those too. See what's available. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got we got those tickets too. We're so hospitable. We're really trying here. Give people a good time. Trying. <laughs> it's not <laughs> hard to take to advantage do. of you just it. Yeah, have to show up right. in our town. That's literally it. Then, I don't know where you are, but just drive here, fly here, catch a bus, take it, the train. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then walk from Shelby. <laughs> I was like, well, what? you still have to drive then from. <laughs> but you know, you get the idea. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. But Voyager's games, those go through at least September. Labor Day weekend. It's yep. like uh, September 9th, and then depending on how their season goes. Right. So and there's playoffs. Yeah. Uh, general admission tickets, 13 bucks. You can sit behind home plate for like $16. So yeah, it's not bad. We had, we had a gentleman in here visiting last week who was really excited about the Voyager's game and was like, I never could sit this close at Dodger Stadium and like was just all excited about the baseball experience for that price right up close to the action so did you give him some of our tickets or was he buying his own or he um, bought his own? i think he had already gone he came in once and left we didn't have the tickets left first i think oh. and then he came back and i think he had already gone oh so it's so a good no time. but he went to the game yeah and then we've got you know we kicked off this segment talking about live music mm-hmm. fourth of july hoot nanny's gonna be here yes um, Fourth of, Fourth of July Hoot Nanny baseball yes. parade, yes, and free concert and fireworks on the river, yeah. And the yep. free concert is Kelsey Ballerini's ex husband. Yeah, I was, I was just, <laughs> I was like stalling because I was trying to find where I put it I on can, here. I was trying to find where I put the. Why am I it's totally spacing? Morgan Mor- Morgan Evans. Morgan yep. Evans. Yep. That's who's performing. Yeah, it's a free downtown outdoor concert. Unbelievable. Right. It's crazy. Like, literally free. You just go downtown, watch the parade, 
Stay go, for the music. Yeah, get a drink, get something to eat, stay downtown, and you'll get the music, the concerts, early afternoon, depending on how the parade goes. And then you wrap that up. You go have baseball. Mm-hmm. We'll and then some fireworks. There'll be fireworks at the stadium, but then yep. you can also see fireworks on the Missouri River. Mm-hmm. Like, I think fireworks on water is the Super best way cool. to see fireworks. Agreed. And we got it. Yeah. All American... Fourth of July, yeah, here in Great Falls, mm-hmm. can't get much better than that, really. I'm pretty sure nobody does it better. No, it really is a good place to be on the Fourth of July. Super nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, while we're talking about that, so the, those outdoor concerts, we talked about the Fourth of July Hoot Nanny. There's also the Downtown Summer Jam Concert Series. Those are outdoors downtown, same spot. You do pay for these ones, right? But it's a really fun lineup this year. We have keep going back on my pages here okay so the first one is june 21st chase wright then july 19th colby acuff i might be not pronouncing that right i'm sorry do you think think he's any relation to roy acuff i don't know who that is either oh okay move on who's roy (laughs) Roy he was like a um, black and white tv star country singer maybe like roy rogers yeah that, that would be era, cool. I well, believe. May, maybe so, because he's a country guy. I would I would bet they're somehow related. We'll say it. Yeah. A-cuff's maybe not he'll a come real... on maybe he'll come on the podcast and you can ask him in oh, person. I would love to. <laughs> okay. I would love that. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you. <Why> not? <laughs> <laughs> and then August sixteenth, Spencer Crandall will be here. So that's part of the downtown summer jam series. Now, we may have said some names and you're like, I don't know any of these people. Trust me when I tell you, listen to a few songs on Mm -hmm. Spotify or YouTube or look them up on their website and watch some of their videos. Yeah. It is so worth getting to see these folks because they are either up and coming Mm -hmm. country artists or artists or people that fill a unique genre. It's Mm -hmm. quality music. It is Mm well-produced music. I... Robert is still mad about this, Uh-oh. but Austin <laughs> Jenks was part of our uh, downtown summer jam concert series a while ago, mm-hmm. and I bought his CD. It and I'm sure he was making them in his basement by himself. <laughs> Only had four tracks on it. Okay, fantastic songs. Yeah, I'll put it in the CD player in the car and listen to it on repeat. <laughs> I love it. Why does Robert get mad about that? Because he's just, he's like, there's only four songs. Oh. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. I like the four songs. They're great songs. Yeah. Uh, Lainey Wilson played here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was part of our downtown summer jam. Was she? Yeah. Again, I'm I, not I'm very I'm not sure, confident. but she's been here. She's played in Great Falls. She has. Yeah. Just an example. <laughs> Colt Speaking Ford of, yeah. played last year. He did. He's coming back. And he's going to be back at the Newberry. Yeah. So part of, so there's the Downtown Summer Jam Concert Series, which the Newberry helps is, is is part of that. That's an outdoor concert series in the summer. But the Newberry, the indoor concert venue, Downtown Great Falls, has continual music year round. And their concert continual concert series is happening over the summer, too. I wrote down, and they will probably add more. And they're having, so far, two stadium shows. Yes, where the they Voyager Stadium. Now, f- folks, we've said Centene Stadium. That mm-hmm. was my fault. The naming rights oh, well. have expired for that. So oh. it is Great Falls Voyager Stadium. Voyager Stadium, they're one and the same. I may so have if, said Centene Stadium when I recorded something there last week. Whoops. Hey, I think People it is. Know. They're the same thing. Kay. Centene and Voyager Stadium, they're the same stadium. We okay. don't have, like, just a stadium alley in great it, falls right we've only got the one you know what we're talking about so yeah just to clear that's that good to, that's just good clear to that clarify. yeah i mean because you're going to be confused enough by this podcast <laughs> we're jumping all over the place <laughs> just so no, that's... here are the newberry concerts happening okay. i went june through labor day weekend here and again they might announce more so we have hinder young dubliners gilda house which is a free concert Ooh. colby cooper colt ford Yes. Dustin Lynch is one of them that's playing at Voyager Stadium. Yes. I wrote it down correctly. Look at that. (laughs) Every Avenue, Paul Kathan, Three Door Down, their anniversary tour is another one that's happening at Voyager Stadium. At the stadium. Mm -hmm. 
Drayton Farley, Portland Cello Project, which if you haven't looked them up, because I was just putting stuff up on our website about them, they are so fun. They do covers of all kinds, like the one I listened to, they did a cello cover of Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, Oh, perfect. which was so fun. But they're just a really, really fun, fun group. So if you're like, eh, cello music, eh, just look them up. It's going to be a fun concert. Yeah. Uh, David Nail, Warren's Eaters, which is sold out, and we just gave tickets, our tickets away. Oh. To some people from Washington. That is a bummer for you people. Yeah. Uh, comedian Joe Para, the Texas Hippie Coalition. And they've been here before. Have they? Okay. And I don't know if you were around, but last week there was a guy in here. Mm, not in here. I saw him somewhere. Okay. And he had a Texas Hippie Coalition shirt on. Really? Yeah. Did so you, he did you go up went. and tell him that they were coming? <laughs> I think he probably probably knows. knows. Seems like a fan. <laughs> uh, Nick Shoulders, Trash Panda, which fun name again, and Josh Ward wraps up Labor Day weekend. I would not be surprised if they add another concert in there. Well, and the thing with the Newberry is they're announcing at least a concert every week, mm-hmm. yep. if not more than a mm-hmm. yes like two. And they have more planned out past September just for this podcast kind of just going through labor day weekend for things but i mean they have stuff in november joan, still joan osborne's mm-hmm. coming yeah so in addition to all of the like touring concerts that we get mm-hmm. we also have local live music mm-hmm. so um clint ryman you can't all throw a stone and not <laughs> find him somewhere yeah. in town um joe ryan plays mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Chuck Fulcher. You mm-hmm. can find him in in random locations. <laughs> He's yep. mostly at uh, the Max at the Heritage Inn yeah. mm-hmm. um, is where I find him. The Celtic Cowboy mm-hmm. brings in some really unique acts. They've got a small little stage. It's inside their restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, they've got a beautiful back bar. A lot of bluegrass and folksy stuff. Yeah. Um, then we've got... 49th Street Blues Project that'll mm-hmm. show up every now and again. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes outside at the Keller Geist Beer Garden oh, area. Yeah. And then um, the Wild Hair always has live music. Yes. Sip and Dip Lounge, of course. The Mighty Moe's brought some live music back. Mm-hmm. They hadn't done that for a while. And they've got some f- a few live acts planned. The Lucky yeah. Valentines, mm-hmm. which aren't necessarily... Um, from Great Falls, they live in Fort Benton, but they're kind of local. Yeah, the Do has some great lineups as yes, well. That's right. With mm-hmm. um, Shakedown County, mm-hmm. I think I say the name mm-hmm. right, and so. Fifty Watt Sun. Yep. All El great Lancho, show. So. All great local music, mm-hmm. and so they're going to be doing a lot of covers, a few originals that they might have written, but that is also part of that live music mm-hmm. epic scene. Yeah, elevation it's like we're has Nashville. live music. Yeah, I mean there really is a lot of live music here, and that's developed a lot in the last couple of years. We're cool. I do want to mention, so we the Beacon Ice House. Yes. Yes, they have their whole new outdoor concert space which Jason and I went to Shenandoah there last year, and it was so fun. It's right on the Sun River. It is. It's outdoors. You have the bar there, but it's just this beautiful lawn space. You bring your own chair set up. They've got this nice stage there. It's a really nice area to watch some live music. It is a really unique spot. Now, it's hidden and tucked away. Yes. You don't just see it from the road. No. No. You could take your boat up and get off a boat and go there. Mm-hmm. You could. Um, so they have both concerts to pay for, and they have a whole lot of free concerts. Mm. I did type up the long list of those. So some of the ones, the the pay for concerts happening at the Beacon, Heart by Heart, Dusty Motes and Cleet Bradley, Tanner Usray. I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Eli Howard and the Greater Good, Reckless Kelly, Big Gun, Hannah Dasher, and the Low Down Drifters. And then for free concerts there, you have free, free, free no outdoor concerts. No money required. Nope. Nope. You just show your ID at the door. That's about it. Gypsy is Gypsy. playing. Mm-hmm. That's a local band, but you don't get a lot of exposure with them. They no, don't play uh-uh. a lot of spots. Uh-uh. The Wilder Blue, 
Jared Hansen, Blue Red Rose, Joe Stame, F Bomb. That's that's their another round. local yeah. local band. Yeah, Kenny Filder, El Wencho. Yeah, that's a Bozeman yeah. group. Yeah, but they they're they here used to often. be the Clintons. Well, they're yes. part of the Clintons. They didn't used to be. It's they're just part half, of them. Half the Clintons. Yeah. They're El Wencho. They're so fun. One of the uh, band members I got to MC Race for the Cure a few years back with him. He's so fun. Like I get excited. They're just really, really fun. They're entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Lucky Valentines, as you mentioned, Voodoo uh, Cadillac. That's another, another one. local mm -hmm. band. They do a lot of rock. They do. Uh, Fifty Watt Sun, which we mentioned. Common Ground. Another local band. Okay. Uh, Willie Puffett. Blue Belly Junction. <laughs> Three Eyed Jack. Melissa Lynn Band. Another local yeah, she's band. Awesome. And then the Montana Neon Ridge Band, which I would assume is from Montana. Well, you would <laughs> think, unless they're just trying to capitalize. Maybe. That could be true. Um, and we aren't done talking about live local music either. We aren't? No. What else are you going to share? <laughs> well, Rebecca. <laughs> I, okay. If I was not here. Yeah. And I'm just some random person sitting in uh, Dallas, Texas, listening okay. to this podcast. I would think, huh, <laughs> you have to be done. Great Falls mm. isn't that big. Right. You, There's you not guys that much. Can't, no, we're not done. We're not done. And this is more free live music. <sighs> Who, who doesn't love yeah. free? So this is our Great Falls Municipal Band, ah, which we've yes. had. So we men I mentioned Dusty Molino earlier. Go back a few episodes. You can listen to Dusty. We talk more specifically all about the Municipal Band. But they have free concerts every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. in Gibson Park all throughout the summer. So the first one is coming up in a couple weeks. June 14th, I believe, is the first concert okay. for that this uh, summer. So I have to share something. We had our strategic planners mm -hmm. in town last week. They're working on some fun stuff. The nerd in me gets excited. You probably <laughs> aren't that concerned, people, listeners. <laughs> but when we were there, Wendy Wiseman, who is part of our friend Aaron Wiseman yeah. with Teriyaki Madness, his wife, okay. who I've known for years. Yeah. And I may have known this. But then forgot because I've known her so long. Mm -hmm. She's in the municipal band. Yes. And I was like, I don't remember that mm -hmm. I knew that. So, Wendy, this was, I believe, the first time I met her was at that meeting. And she was telling me about that because so the municipal band has concerts. But around the 4th of July, the Wednesday that's around that, they do a special concert. They move. It's still free. Yeah. They just move inside the um, Mansfield, Mansfield Theater. Theater area. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so these these guys are such professionals that usually, most of the time, they'll run over it maybe once or twice beforehand, before these concerts. The 4th of July, no practice. She was like, we just show up and do it. I was like, oh my gosh. It just reinforces the talent that exists that you can yeah. have that caliber of musician in the municipal band. Folks, it's not like me. My <laughs> niece um, let me play her flute, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. I haven't played since high school, yeah. which was some time ago. <laughs> I can't run a scale. Mm -hmm. Now, before I have mentioned, I didn't think I could run a scale. It's confirmed. I can't <laughs> do a the scale. <laughs> so it's not Rebecca showing up and trying no, to play this music. it is not. <laughs> It's people I who... I wouldn't even know where to start with the flute, so... Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but that's just how... And this isn't even our symphony. These no. are regular folks in town... <laughs> people who, who didn't make the cut for the symphony. Right, or just dark, <laughs> don't want to be that much of a commitment, right? And some yeah. of them play both the municipal band and, and the, the symphony. symphony. I shouldn't yeah. say they got right. cut. <laughs> <laughs> They're still very good. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just incredible. So these run middle of June through middle of August. In and, Gimson Park. Mm -hmm. There's a band shell there. So again, bring your own blanket, bring your own chair. It's so fun. I used to live kind of near, downtown, kind of near Gibson Park. And yeah. the music would float enough that I could hear Here. it coming through my window. It was just delightful. Another thing, not necessarily musically related, mm -hmm. but kind of. Okay. <laughs> Montana Shakespeare in the Park's coming back to Great Yay. Falls. Yay. That's so exciting. That'll be in Gibson mm -hmm. Park. It won't be until um, kind of early fall. Okay. 
but something but still to, coming. Yeah. Well, and while we're talking about plays, theater, uh, Great oh. Falls Theater Company, newly Oklahoma. established. Oklahoma. Yes. Oklahoma coming this July. I don't remember the dates off the top of my head, but I don't this either. July. They're going to be putting their tickets on sale this week, so okay. we'll finally have information. I visited with Amber yeah. at the strategic planning thing, mm-hmm. and she said they're shooting for this week to have things ready to okay. buy tickets, and then we'll have cool. it up on our website. Then we'll get that but, on our website, yeah. And they're performing at the University of Providence Theater, mm-hmm. which was, used to have a great theater app, yeah. arts program. Mm-hmm. Joel Corda, who sings our intro outro, mm-hmm. I think I might be making this up, but I'm 90% certain it's true. Okay. His wife, Nadine, mm-hmm. did the costume designing <gasps> for University of Providence oh, Theater wow. program. So How cool. It's a really neat. They're so artistic. I know. Mm-hmm. And Joel told, her, told me a secret, and I'm hopeful one day he's going to come back and tell us <laughs> it actually happened. Ooh. The secret. Okay. okay. So well, there's something to look ooh, forward to. Cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. These are some things we I didn't even put on the list, but I'm glad we we mentioned. Um, okay. If you want to be a little, let's talk about beer because we have a few beer related things happening. Beyond Craft Beer Week. Beyond Craft Beer Week. Okay. Because there's a lot happening with Craft Beer Week. There is. Do Next we week. Just, do we just want to talk about Craft Beer Week? No. Okay. Because I really like this new event that's happening. Yes. I think this is what you're talking. The Brew Ha Ha. Yes. Yes. The Brew Ha Ha Beer Run Series. I love the name. I do too. Yeah. So this does involve running, it, running or walking, probably. Really, right up your alley. <laughs> I, I could. Yes. I should. <laughs> I should do this some evening. So the Brew Ha Ha Run Series. They've done two so far. One or two so far. Yes, two. They did the first one at Annie's Tap House. Second one at Black Eagle Brewery. It continues um, throughout. S- the summer into September. So basically you meet at a different brewery or bar that they pick uh, once a month. You go and run this loop around the River's Edge Trail, around the Missouri, and then you come back and you drink beer. Could there be anything funner? Right. It sounds fun though. You get friends together, make new friends. Easy, Mm -hmm. easy entry. Yes. Beer, Mm -hmm. athletic activity. Right. Gets your heart going. (laughs) Perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the one in June is starting ending at the Mighty Mo. Uh, again, you run a loop. It's not a far loop. I would say walk it if you want. Yeah, just, you know. You get to the beer faster if you run. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What else did? July 20th. A, okay, you have it. I got my yep. pages all mixed up. You July take it. July 20th. Okay. It will start and end at the block. Mm-hmm. August 13th. 17th mm-hmm. it's going to start on the second floor of a building at <laughs> so elevation stairs involved in this run elevation 3330 mm-hmm. I mean you've built up your stamina by yeah. this time yeah good point you know you've come every every month to Great Falls mm-hmm. to do this yeah elevation 3330 up the stairs mm-hmm. and then back down the stairs and then up, <laughs> up the and stairs <laughs> and then back down the stairs mm-hmm. Um, that's August 17th. And then September 21st, this series ends mm-hmm. at Keller Geist, where you'll meet, go for a run, mm-hmm. come back. Mm-hmm. No stairs for that one. Nope. Yeah. Unless you want them. <laughs> Unless you want to find, find some them. stairs somewhere. Find them Parking along garage, the way. maybe. Yeah. 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 That's a really fun one. Are you going to do that one? I will probably yeah. do this. Nice. Not running. Okay. I'm just going to first tell you I'm not running. Really earn that beer. I'm yeah. not going to be a runner, <laughs> but I will go but for a walk and yeah. then come back and drink a beer. Maybe you can convince them to give you like a sippy cup where you can, if you're not going to run, you can walk and a camel back. You can put the camel back on. Sip. <laughs> yeah. Just fill up my camel back with it. I I'm going to sip it while I walk. Beer run. I really want to walk and sip. Beer stroll. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And then we have. Uh, of course, Craft Beer Week coming up. We have a whole podcast on that that just came out two weeks ago. So you can go back and listen to all the details about that. Okay, I'm checking my list here. We talked about Voyagers. I think Oh, the downtown night, night markets I mentioned those earlier. It's like the farmer's market, but on Friday evenings. And I don't think there's any produce or chickens. No, you can get food, though. They'll have food vendors, live music, arts Prepared and crafts. Food, yeah. Right. So it's a little bit different, but kind of that feel. You can shop, walk around downtown on Friday a evenings. A lot of Great Falls artisans that either have some of their product in some of our retail stores mm-hmm. or 
have an expanded product line or aren't in any of our retail stores will be there. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. I do like Night Market. Yeah. And then um, to kind of fin- finish off that summer fun event thing, mm-hmm. Arts Fest Montana is back. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So we will install new murals. Mm-hmm. Um, and granted, I will tell you this, folks. The completed murals are a huge attraction. Mm-hmm. I understand we might not get you to come and watch them right. be created. However, if you do, mm-hmm. it is so fun to see that process. It really is. Because they're taking photos and putting them, or they're drawing freehand onto the side of a building. Mm-hmm. So a concept that has gone from really the size of their phone, and you'll watch them <laughs> reference that, to the, the scale of a building mm-hmm. And then the other really neat thing, we may have tickets for you, (laughs) the VIP night where the street artists that come in for Arts Fest Montana will do (laughs) canvas-sized paintings Mm -hmm. with their style, with their spray paint that you can then bid on at the end of the night. You got one last year, didn't you? I did not. Two years ago? No. Have you gotten one ever there? No. Oh. I'm, I'm never... You've bid on them though. Yes. Okay. I've bid. Yeah. Not I'm not always a winner. Yeah. But you're helping support the cause. I am. Mm-hmm. It is such an epic fun mm-hmm. time. And then to watch the progress of a mural. Yeah. Here's the deal. This is what I would do if I were you. <laughs> I would come for Arts Fest Montana. I would see the start of all the murals. Yeah the progress of the murals. I would tour all the completed murals, Mm -hmm. but also during Arts Fest Montana is the Russell auction. Yes. And so then I would go and see the Skull Society artists, the the exhibitions that are happening in conjunction with that Mm -hmm. Western art rendezvous that happens in August. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's somewhat like western art week but not really different flair to it auctions artists Mm -hmm. um other things happening just really a unique time to embrace the arts Mm -hmm. and the night markets kick that off yeah um as part of that what a fun time couldn't you be a better way to spend an art filled week and you can grab a scooter to tour them downtown too oh Mm -hmm. yes it's a fun thing to do i also just thought of um, and I don't have the dates off the top of my head, but again, we'll have this on our website, the Multicultural Fair this summer yep. as well. August 17th. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in there. So I think. around this same time then. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot happening that weekend. All part of Arts mm-hmm. Fest Montana. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really fun event. I went last year. Um, there's all kinds of different uh, cultures and countries represented. You can sample food. You get an idea of some of their artwork. Some will have dances and performances it's really neat their clothing mm-hmm. uh, traditional clothing yeah. that would be worn mm-hmm. that you know in their country yeah and you just walk around you get a food passport mm-hmm. and they'll give you sample sizes of the food it's, yeah. it's not a whole meal because you're going to want to sample a lot the, yeah all the cultures uh really well done rotary electric puts that mm-hmm. on um for us as mm-hmm. kind of a fun community event mm-hmm. There's no cost to attend the fair. There is a cost to the food passport. Mm-hmm. So Right. Yeah, you can wander down there if you want the food. You pay for that. But that's a really neat event. Again, they close off part of the downtown streets so you can yep. walk around for that. So Tis the season for shutting down the streets. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. So plan your parking ahead. And plan around these events. Mm-hmm. Some of these events you're going to come to don't take all day. Mm-hmm. Some of them do. Mm-hmm. And so plan to do the sluice boxes, plan to take Mm -hmm. in the museums that you haven't done yet, Mm -hmm. plan to see the new art on the River's Edge Trail. The saxophone is amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So Alex Smithson, who is on our episode title, titled Sphere of Influence, for good reason, if you listen to the podcast, he is incredible and you can see his artwork all along the trail and that the saxophone is his newest one, which... So epic. Yeah. The attention to detail oh my gosh. when you're welding with old wrenches and bolts. Yeah. It's crazy. And in a small shed that he calls his <laughs> studio. Yeah. It's just incredible. Um, the other thing, when we were coming home yesterday, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's new or if I've just never noticed. 
the amount of fishers oh. along the river's edge trail. Yeah. They were under the bridge by the fish mural. They were down mm. across from Elks Riverside Park, uh, yeah. across from the dog park, any okay. kind of access point, fishers huh. all along the banks of the river. It was so nice to see. It is nice to see. I haven't seen them yet this year, but I've seen them under under the bridge that you mentioned in the past. And that sounds weird and creepy. Yeah. <laughs> A bunch it's of fishers under, under the bridge. The bridge. <laughs> it's not creepy no, no, that's or weird. Not yeah. <laughs> Especially, it's just probably a good spot to catch fish. Mm, and appropriate because there's a mural of a fish there. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like a <laughs> hidden map. This is the spot. <laughs> yeah. That is neat to see though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so nice. It was just gorgeous yesterday. Yeah. So mm -hmm. feel free yeah. to drop your line in the Missouri River. Mm -hmm. uh, one other thing I forgot to mention that I put on here when we were talking about running um, Race Montana has events this summer and fall. One of them is the triathlon that they're doing um, oh, yes. based out of the Electric City Water Park uh, this summer as well. Um, they have... Bike, swim, run, run. Mm -hmm. right? Yep, yep. That's what's involved in the triathlon. No it, need to portage a canoe. No, <laughs> not for this one. <laughs> uh, they have a youth course as well. Um, it also says they have a duathlon, which I'm guessing would be the running and biking maybe. Or you just pick any you two pick you two. want. <laughs> Pick two. You pick two. I'm yeah. going to swim and ride a bike. Yeah. I don't think it's that, but they, <laughs> they, yeah. And the water park, I was driving by that today, too. That should be opening up soon, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Electric City Water Park mm -hmm. with their slides and their pool and the Lazy mm -hmm. River and the splash pad. Yeah. And, the and they got the um, start climbing the wall. Cave, but it's a little rock climbing wall coming out of the water there. Mm -hmm. It's not kaboom. No. But. Doesn't it starts matter. with a K, I think. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's a video on our page about it on our YouTube yeah. page. Yeah. I'm sure there are still things that, I mean, I know there are things that we're not talking about. It's not intentional. It's just there's so much happening. So, folks, all you have to do is pick when you want to be here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll fill your time. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. No. There's, there's always something, especially in the summer. And you can split your time between outside and inside. Um, go out and go for a hike. Come for the guided hikes. Go on your own. Has it been announced that the Russell is? I don't think so. Okay. Well, we you might have some the breaking Russell news in August. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Eventually, one day there might be some news about the yes. Russell. We <laughs> just have so much going on. Mm -hmm. Again, check out our events page. If you want more kind of itinerary fillers, not everything's on that events page. The events page we've designed to get you to commit to come to Great Falls. Mm -hmm. We have another secondary list of itinerary fillers that are designed to fill your your holes, mm -hmm. the holes and the big stuff. Yeah. Um, so you're coming for this. You know it. Mm -hmm. What other things can you do other than you know, the things that are always here. Right. We've got that for you. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is reach out and ask. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to see things like on our, you know, you want to see what the water park looks like, for example, we have videos of those up on our YouTube page. Okay. She was talking <coughs> about not having allergies before. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry about the sneeze, <laughs> folks. <laughs> I was watching it happen. I was like, oh, it's how long coming. is this going to take <laughs> You know, you try to suppress it, uh -huh. and then it's like, oh, you I'm just going to give in to it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what would happen if you were talking to me here in person. So you're welcome. Yeah. We don't hold anything back no, here. including sneezes. <laughs> yeah. So we can't wait to see you here in Great Falls. And until we do, uh, keep listening to our podcast, check out our website, and as always, feel free to reach out with anything you need. Uh, we'll see you soon. We are no damn experts is the recorded claims from Great Falls, Montana, covering what you need to know about this amazing damn town. Damn, that felt good.